Snowball, don't poop right there, please. Come on, boy. This is a show where we take rescue dogs and their pet parents on a great doggy day out. We'll take them to some of the best destinations for dogs in all of America. From food joints. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> unique activities. <laughs> and luxury pamper sessions. This is Doggy Destinations, presented by A Dog's Journey, in theaters May 17th. Hi, my name is Jamie Kenton, and this is my dog Snowball, and we live here in New York City. Pretty much obsessed with him, and I take him everywhere. Many places where he probably is not supposed to go, and we just go together anyways. <laughs> So he's together with me a lot. Whatever I do, he likes to do the same thing. Is Snowball a New Yorker? Are you a New Yorker? I would say yes. He definitely, if you can't tell, he's got the paws to, to prove it. When I found Snowball, he was incredibly skinny. Like you could literally feel every rip on his body. I mean, it was literally like the moment my hands like touched Snowball, like I immediately started crying. It was just, he was so tiny and so scrawny and so dirty. I was a breaking news reporter for quite some time. I just was interviewing a man in his backyard and I was seeing Snowball out of the corner of my eye and I automatically just assumed it was this man's dog because he was in his backyard. Um, but the more that I kind of looked at him, I noticed that he definitely wasn't being cared for. He, so I finally said to this guy, is this your dog? And it was more kind of like a, what's the matter with you type of deal because he wasn't being cared for. And I was really surprised when he told me that it was not his dog. And so I asked him who's it belonged to and he said he wasn't sure that he knew that Snowball had at least been like wandering the neighborhood for at least a week that he had seen. And I asked him if anyone was taking him in and he said no. And it was November and uh, very cold outside. So I pretty much right then and there decided that I was gonna take him back to the newsroom and try to find his owner and nobody ever came forward. And I'm so grateful that nobody ever came forward because I couldn't really imagine my life without him. Honestly, I mean, it was kind of like a fairy tale because Snowball and I were already best friends. Like I actually have a picture of him and I like sleeping together. Like I slept on the bathroom floor with him because I wasn't too sure like if he was trained or anything like that. He literally slept right here on my face. I mean, it was like we were best friends right from the start. Snowball is hands down my best friend. Snowball, is she your best friend? <laughs> that, that means yes. <laughs> you know, Snowball hasn't always had the easiest life, but now he's getting all these new experiences. So are we allowed to know what we're doing today? Time to start the day with some doggy agility. We're headed to the Brooklyn Dog Training Center. Well, hello, Jamie and Hi. Snowball. Welcome Hi. to the Brooklyn Dog Training Center. Here we do all manner of training for performance and pet dogs. We're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff with you today. Sound good? I usually like to start by introducing the jump okay. because it is the most used obstacle in agility. Good, good. Oh, oh shoot. That's okay, he didn't Yay! care. Good boy! <laughs> okay, all right, ready? Let's go, get Oh, good, good boy. boy! Good boy! So now we're gonna go to six inches. All right, Snowball, here we go. <gasps> Whee! <laughs> hey, bye. Yay! Yay! Good job! Good boy, good boy. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> So I'm gonna bring it all the way out this time. Go, 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 go. He's gonna beat you there. He's gonna beat you to the end. Hey, yeah! Good job! Good you job! job. <laughs> good, 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 good. Oh, yes. he faked us out! So now we're gonna move on to the wee folds. Good boy, Come yes. Come so Come see how he's already figured out. If I Come stop me. him, he goes, oh, I should try the Hi. other way. Yay. Oh, good job! That was good! Hi, Snowball! Hi, Snowball! Hi, Snowball! Hi, Snowball! Yes! Good job! Good job, buddy! 
I definitely think Snowball will have some swagger going on at the dog park now that he can do all this. I had no clue that he was capable of all this stuff. That is so cool. You did great. After all that hard work, we're heading back downtown to New York Dog Nanny for a calming and healing Reiki session. Hi, I'm Cynthia Okimoto and we are at New York Dog Nanny and today we're gonna do a Reiki treatment on Snowball. Dog Reiki, wow. We've never done anything like this before. I like give him like little dog massages at home, but I've never like obviously don't know how to do Reiki. He's already such a chill dog that it might just put him right out, <laughs> but we'll find out. So what we're gonna be doing Snowball is I'm gonna be gently placing my hands over your body and I'm gonna be uh, touching your different energy centers to balance and restore them. Is that okay? Snowball, is that Snowball. Sound good? A little distracted by Snowball. Out the Snowball is interested in the cabs outside. <laughs> Let the day's worries go away. So a lot of dogs, um, if they wear harnesses and uh, for too long or it's too tight, it can kind of restrict their movement right here. So I'm just kind of loosening up that energy. So a typical reaction would be a yawn, and generally that happens a couple minutes in. Um, there we go. I'm like, here's your treat now. <laughs> right on cue. It's kind of interesting to, to think about where he came from and where he is now. He didn't have the best go at life at, at the start, but uh, now I like to think that he's got the best life possible. There's five different levels of intensity and this is definitely like, this is more of like a three. When my hands were right here, it was more like a two, but here's like a three, which means it's just pulling a little bit more energy. Uh, it's not good or bad, it just means that I'll probably stay here a little bit longer and there's more stuff that's coming in or going out right now. If a dog is, you know, too chill, it could kind of make them have more energy. If they're too wild, it can calm them down. It really just depends. It's, it's about um, adjusting the imbalances. Snowball really likes it here. Looks like he's about done. They always let me know when they're ready. Okay. Good job, Snowball. Okay. Wanna go? Okay. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Was that fun? I can, I honestly, I can like feel him being even more relaxed. I think he would say, thank you for taking me here. Cause that was really cool. He really, he, he knows why he's here. Aww. That's so cool. You're That's very, neat. you're very evolved. <laughs> you hear that, Snowball? Evolve. It's dinner time and we're taking a cab across town to buy Chloe for some delicious vegan dog food. Welcome to By Chloe in the South Seaport District of New York City. Welcome. Thank you so much. We're really excited to be here. By Chloe is 100% vegan, plant-based. Snowball today, you're gonna be eating from By Chloe's vegan dog menu. We have the peanut butter bones for you and then also the organic oat-based cupcakes. All right, he loves peanut butter, so that's probably gonna be a big hit. Nice. <laughs> Snowball is a really big meat eater, and to be honest, I am as well. Um, I'm not opposed to vegan options, but uh, I'm very interested to see how we're both gonna do here today. Are you hungry? Yummy! <laughs> Snowball. You gonna try some of these? Vegan, I see your tail wagon. I think there's a phrase called don't put your paws on the table. We're just gonna ignore that here. Careful, don't eat all that at once. Snowball, don't eat all that at once. <laughs> oh boy. Is that good? That's it? Note to self, big fan of the cupcake. We would come back here just for the food. Snowball obviously loves his treats. I'm loving the salad, but the fact that, you know, we're here in New York and there's not a ton of places that will just readily let dogs come in and eat with you, have a menu just for them. It's really amazing. So I'm so lucky that I've been able to find something else 
here in New York that we can both come to and enjoy. What do you think, boy? I know you'd want to try this. It doesn't even. This doesn't even taste like vegan. I would let you try it, but you have your own food here. You have your own food here. How about one last bite? You want one more bite? <laughs> Good boy. Next time, we're in Dallas, Texas, with Starbuck and his pet parent, Alan.